Mindful Life Practice community. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to invite you to put on your own music. Okay, come on to your back. We are going to do some Taylor Swift abs. So you can rest onto your spine. Let your back be heavy. Let your palms be heavy. Let your heels be heavy. Take some deep breaths in. And I'm going to invite you to arrive in this moment. If you have music, wonderful. If you don't have music, that's also wonderful. And you can imagine that you're listening to Taylor Swift's 10 minute song because we're going to do some 10 minute abs to make up for the 10 minutes that I just wasted of our time trying to get tech working. <laughs> so let's draw the knees in. Interlace the palms behind the skull. Good, lift up. Right elbow, left knee. Good, opposite way, left elbow, right knee. It's funny that I have so many technical issues because I was just speaking to Rachel about some of the issues of being a yoga teacher pre-Zoom. Let's go opposite elbow, opposite knee. Good, opposite elbow, opposite knee. And so anyway, I was telling Rachel about how when I used to teach yoga at the hot yoga studio, I would have to get up like an hour early, six in the morning, drive down there, turn the hot, the heat on, open up the front desk, clock in, turn on the PC. There were like so many steps to teaching a yoga class. <laughs> Let's go opposite elbow, opposite knee. And then when I closed the studio at night, I had to mop and empty the trash and then exit out the back door before I had a studio key. <laughs> Good. Three more. Two more. Nice. Last one. Right elbow, left knee. And then let's just pulse the elbow to the knee. So what I've learned through using AirPods, which is so interesting, is that if one of the AirPods isn't working, I cannot hear as well through the ear, through the left ear. Opposite way, left elbow, right knee. And it's interesting when we learn these different things about our body. Good, let's just do five more. Four, three, good, two. Last one, lower all the way down. Can you take your yoga block now? Place the block between your feet, good. And we're just gonna release the block to the front of the space and then lift up past the block. Nice work team. Now I want you to be really intentional with your movement right now. So your upper back is not lifting when you do this. You're not lifting your head. You're not lifting your upper back. Your upper body is grounded. Okay, it's just like a lift and lower of your legs and a gentle pass of the block. Because if we're lifting our upper back, then we're bringing tension into the thoracic spine that we don't need, okay? So it's just a gentle pass. We spend so much of our lives in flexion. We want the spine and anatomical neutral. Good, do one more. And then lift your block all the way up. 
place the block underneath the edge of the right foot, lengthen the left leg, and just pulse the block up towards the right foot. And I feel like I can't sing the lyrics like I normally do because you guys might be listening to a different song or no music at all. <laughs> Good, do one more. And then switch opposite way. So you're pushing the block up towards the left foot. Good, five, four, nice, three, two, good, and one. And then let's place the block between the feet and tap your hands to opposite feet. Taking deep breaths in and out. Good work, team. Let's do five, four, three, two. Good, last one, lower all the way down. Just slide the block to the side, knees into the chest, take a few breaths. Good. The song is not yet over, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> so one more round of Yogi Bicycles. Can you interlace the palms, crunch up, lengthen your right leg, and then just tap your elbow to your knee. Good, and if it's too much at any point, you can land your lengthen right leg. That's what I've done. Good, opposite side. So lengthen your left leg. Tap your left elbow to your right knee. And if you would like to, you could land the bottom heel. Good, just for five, four, three, two, three, one more. And then lower all the way down. And then just interlace the palms around the shins. Give your body a few deep breaths, nice big hug. Nice work, team. We just did 10 minutes of abs, which is a huge accomplishment. Let's take our palms on the backs of the thighs. Just rock and roll the length of the spine. And we're gonna rock all the way up into a chair pose, and then just come into a forward fold. Good, take a few deep breaths in this forward fold. Letting your body dangle. Good, you got it. Take an inhale to halfway lift. And when you're forward folding, I want you to be really, really soft through your body, okay? So imagine your knees are bent and your body's hinging all the way forward. Take your inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, lower. Leave your right foot where it is. Step your left foot all the way back. Just rock forward and back. Nice. And then lift all the way up into a crescent lunge. Good, you got it. 
Nice. So this is a really deep lunge. So I want you to step your foot even further forward. Yeah, good. And your back heel is lifted. Nice. Good. And now open all the way up. So your right arm is forward, left arm is back. And look at what your right knee is doing. So your right knee is making a right angle. So if you're up here, I want you to step your foot further forward to make your this long, low lunge. Good. Yep. And then take an inhale, reverse the warrior. Good. Lift all the way up. Lengthen the right leg. Good. Reach the right arm forward. Clock the right arm alongside the right calf. Lift the left arm up. This is your trikonasana. And again, it's a really long stance. And I also want you to be making one long line from your fingertips all the way. So your right fingertips and your left fingertips should make one long line here. Good. Nice. And then bend through the right knee, lift all the way up. Let's pivot all the way around. And then step all the way up and just explore lifting the left knee up. Reaching the arms forward. Good. So you're balancing on the right foot. Your left knee is in front of you. Lift the left knee higher. Excellent. But I don't want you to lean back as you do this. So if you're leaning back, I want you to tilt your heart forward. Okay? So your upper body is up, right? Nice. And then just spiral your left arm back. Just staying here for three, for two. Good. And then one, come to anchor left foot alongside right. Take your inhale, arms up towards the sky. Good. Take your exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice. Exhale, lower. Leave your left foot where it is. Step your right foot back. Again, you need this long stance of your left ankle underneath your knee. And then lift the arms up. So really long, low lunge, right angle. Excellent, stay for another breath, looking good, everyone. Good, and then open all the way up so your right heel lands. Right arm is back, left arm is forward, making your warrior two knees stacking above ankle. Take your inhale, reverse your warrior. Right palm lands, left arm lifts overhead. You're breathing into the rib cage. And then lengthen the left leg up. Reach your arm forward. Clock your left arm alongside your calf. Reach your right arm up. And then we're gonna lift all the way up again. And then just pivot all the way forward. So hips are squared towards the front of the mat now. Good, now lean onto your left foot, step your right foot forward. And as you draw the knee up, I want you to keep your torso upright. So if you find that you're leaning back, I want you to draw your heart upright, spine in neutral. And then leave your left arm where it is. Lift the right arm all the way back. Gaze over the right shoulder. Good. Land the foot, palms together. Inhale, arms up. Look up. Exhale, fold. Take the inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower, plant the palms, step the feet back, find your way into a plank, leave your left foot where it is, step your right foot forward, lift your right arm up, land your right palm, step your right foot back, opposite side, left foot's forward, left arm lifts up, lower the palm, step the foot back, good, keep moving like this, so foot forward, twist, land the palm, step back. So this is really good for your core. It's really good because your core is acting as a stabilizer. And in our previous core exercises, we were using our core as the agonist or the prime mover, 
right? So here our core is stabilizing our body. Our legs are moving. Shoulder rotation. Good. And now either keep going like this one foot forward or pop the feet forward, lift the arms up, lower the palms, pop back. Nice. Good. Doing three more like this. Good, two more. Last one. Good, come all the way up to stand. Time for a bit of cardio. So we're gonna extend our arms and our toes. Good, keep going like this or move with your jumping jacks. Nice, keep going like that. Good. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys on my computer yet. Cause I would really like to be able to see all of you. I can only see a couple of you. Good, do a few more jumps. Does not look like it's working. Three, good, two, last one. And then we're going to do some high knees. Nice, and now getting a little bit of jogging going with our high knees. Five, four, three, good, two, last one, bring your feet together, tapping one foot to the side. Good, either keep staying like this, or go hop, hop, squat. Nice work team. Can you do five more? Four, three, good, two. Last one, footballers. Amazing. This is the end of our cardio verse, we're almost done. Good, do three more, two more. Good, last one. And then just come all the way up to stand. <laughs> Inhale, arms all the way up. Good, exhale, fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. You wanna move through a vinyasa flow, go ahead, grab a sip of water, whatever you need right now. Nice. really weird for me to teach this class without being able to see all of you. It's really strange, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay. I'm going to slide over to see a different group of people for the next little portion. Okay. If you're in your down dog, I want you to come all the way forward. Grab hold of your weights. We're going to bend our knees, have our palms face up. Good, leave your right foot where it is, keep it still. And now just tap your left foot back and forward. Nice work team. Do three more. Good, two more. Nice, last one, step back. You can have your weights alongside your hips and then just bend and lengthen the back knee. Nice. 
Good work. Do one more and just hover it. Can you keep it hovered? Bring your palms face up, bicep curls. Amazing. We're so strong. <laughs> Four, three, two, excellent. One, add your shoulder presses. Good, okay, just three. Two, good, last one, bring the weights up. Place the weights together and let's just dip the weights behind. Bit of tricep strength. Good work team, five, four, three, two, Good, last one. Bring the weights all the way forward. Hinge the heart forward. Can you upwards row? Bringing the elbows out in 90 degree angles. And I don't know what you're working with right now. Maybe jet lag. Maybe you're a bit sick right now. Maybe you have stuff going on in your life, whatever you're dealing with. Know that you can get through this challenge, right? You have climbed mountains, so many of your mountains in your lifetime. What are you tapping into right now to keep going when the going gets tough? Nice. Do one more. And then let's bring weights at heart center. Lengthen weight onto the right leg. Dip the right knee. Awesome. Five, four, good, three, two, nice, last one. Step the foot all the way back. Lift the arms up, right arm forward, left arm back. Circle the arms forward. Good, you got it. Nice, circle the arms back. Good, take an inhale, reverse the warrior, lift the right arm up. Can you come all the way up now, lengthen the right leg, reach the right arm forward, clock the right arm alongside the right calf. Trust that the right foot will hold you, lift into your half moon with your weight. Nice work team, three, two, one. Grab hold of the weight. Come all the way up to stand. Awesome. Let's do the opposite side. Bend the knees, sit the hips back. Weight face up. Nice. Keep your left foot stationary. Keep the bend in the knee. Just tap your right foot forward and back. And can you not shift your weight forward as you do this? So you're keeping your hips still. It's like a toe tapping action. Awesome. Five, four, three, good, two. Nice work team and one, step it back, weights alongside the hips, bend and lengthen the knee. Nice. Three, two, good. Last one, lengthen the leg, bring the palms face up. Let's do our biceps. Nice. Add your shoulder press. Good. Five. Four. Good. Three. Two. 
two. Nice, last one. Lift the weights up, place the weights together. Can you dip the weights back? Lift the weights up overhead. Nice work. Five, four, three, good, two. Last one, bring the weights all the way around, hinge forwards, upwards rows. Nice work. Three, two, good, last one. And now shift the weight onto the left foot, lengthen your right leg. See if you can dip and lengthen your left knee. Good, staying in the warrior three, you're doing amazing. Oh, it's already 8.43, wow. Usually we're done at this point. Good, your, your whole body's in this uppercase T. Yeah, yeah. No, you're keeping your leg long. It's a bend of the knee, staying in the T, staying in the T shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, you're bending the standing leg. So your leg's not going up and down. It's staying. Yeah, no, no rows here. This is a warrior three, just dipping and lengthening the standing leg, creating this T shape. Three. Two, good, last one. And then come up to stand. Nice work team. Place the weights on the mat. Come all the way up to stand. Take an inhale, arms whip all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, lower, plant the palms. If you wanna go through one last vinyasa, go for it. Nice, and then we're gonna stretch it out. So we're gonna take our right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Good, draw your right knee in, lay the shin across the width of the mat, good, snuggle the left knee back. Nice, take an inhale, and then come all the way forward into pigeon. You made it, man, that class seemed to go by fast, probably because I was just trying to figure out like what the heck was going on. <laughs> it's really hard when I can't see all of your faces. Can't sort out what I'm doing with the tech. But obstacles are opportunities, aren't they? And every single thing happens for a reason. And the trick is to find that reason and focus on it. So I flipped open to this page in Meditations on Intentions and Being. And the page that I opened to is titled The Fabric of Our Lives. And it feels super relevant to what I've been hearing is going on with people around me these days. So I believe that sometimes hard times come. To let us know that the life we're trying to maintain has been cut from the wrong cloth. And this has certainly been the case for me. And in the years since my own difficulties, I have coached and been a teacher to hundreds of people going through difficult chapters in their lives. 
and with the exception of a loss of a loved one, what they were losing was a life they had outgrown. And what they were learning is that the fabric of our life is in a constant state of flux. I'm going to come all the way up to a down dog. And then go the opposite way. So left leg lifts. And then draw the left knee in and lay the shin across the width of the mat and snuggle the knee back. Nice. So the child thinks that her world is built out of stone. And the adult learns that our lives are built from sand blown by the wind, forming one moment, and then dissolving and reforming the next. And the smile of the adult is the smile of one who has learned to love each fleeting experience. and knows that the wind will sweep away this cherished moment. And it's the same wind that will sweep in the next. Stay here for a few more breaths. And then we're going to come all the way up into seated. Come all the way around. Come all the way back onto the spine. And then open the arms in the cactus arms. And then drop the knees over to the right and gaze over the left shoulder. So how can we embrace the moment, even if the moment is not exactly what we plan for? Not exactly what we hoped for. Right, how can we embrace the moment and navigate the ups and downs of our lives? Open our right arm and just draw the knees all the way through center. And then drop the knees in the opposite direction. So over to the left, landing the left palm, gazing over the right. And let's just open the left arm, give the body a nice little hug.
and then slowly stretch out into a final grasping pose, extending our legs, letting our shoulders be heavy, letting our knees relax, our toes droop away. I've pulled out a Gabby Bernstein card. And it says, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, to turn conflict into growth, and fear into love. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Ish kahu fa ma ho pu le ha Ish kahu Ish kavva mahapu leha. Ish kavva mahapu leha. Ish kavva mahapu leha. Ish kavva mahapu leha. Give your body a wake up wiggle. Nice long stretch all the way fingertips through toes. Curl the knees into the chest. Give your body a nice little hug. 
and then just make your way up and over to your seated position with the palms at the heart center. And so we close with our intention. It is an ancient intention. It is the original intention. Passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice be with us and be a constant and help us navigate the unexpected and the obstacles so that we can turn our trauma into healing, our conflict into growth, and our fear into love. Let's seal our practice together with an ohm sound. So we're going to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Thank you so much, yogis. Thank you for being here with me, sharing the space and the practice, navigating the lack of Zoom. Your presence is appreciated. Light in me, it sees and it honors the light in you. Thank you, thank you.